It's another math day here with teacher Jenny. Join me for another discussion. This time, we are going to discuss about ellipse as part of the conic section. An ellipse is a set of all points in a plane whose sum of distances from two fixed points called foci is a constant. If this is your ellipse, according to the definition, the point here, if you are going to look for the distance on this one and the focus and the, the point here on the ellipse or on the plane, and so with getting the distance of this uh, point towards the other focus, once you are going to add those two, it will all be constant all throughout the plane or the ellipse. So let's say if you are going to have another point here and you are going to measure or add up the distance from this particular focus to that point and the distance to this point here and to the other focus, it is still the same as what we have here on the first point. So that is an ellipse. So let us go for the different parts of the ellipse that we are to consider. So first we have the center wherein we use also HK as a coordinate of the center. And then this is defined as the middle point of an elliptical graph. So let's say if this is your ellipse, your center is in the middle. It's in the middle of your ellipse. The next one is the vertices. These are the two points along the ellipse. And we are going to locate the vertex or the vertices in our ellipse using or utilizing the major axis. When you say major axis, we have actually two axes here in our ellipse. We have the major axis and the minor axis. From the word major, that means to say we are referring to the biggest or the bigger axis within your y and x axis. So if you try to look at that one, you've got there the longest axis is your x axis. This becomes the major axis. And on the major axis is located our vertex. So we have here first vertex, the other one or the other vertex is also located on that particular major axis. So that is vertices. Next we go for foci. So when we say foci, this is a plural form of your focus. So your focus is to fix points inside the ellipse. So if you have located your major axis and the vertices along those along that major axis or where your vertices is located, you can also locate your focus because focus is always going to be located in the innermost of your vertex. So if this is your vertex here, focus will be also in here. And of course, we have here false side because that's two more than one focus. So we have another focus, which is in here. So again, once you have the major axis, there lies the vertex and so with the foci or focus. So next one, we have our covertices. So when we say covertices, everyone, if we've got on the major axis, the vertices, we are to find our covertices on our minor axis. Minor axis, comparing that one to the major axis, minor axis is smaller in length as your major axis. So here, if you try to look at this one, your y-axis is smaller as compared to, or shorter as compared to your vertex, I mean to your major axis. So that is why once you locate the minor axis, you can also locate your covertex or the covertices. So we have here one covertex, the other covertex is here. So when we say principal axis, it is a line that passes through the vertices and foci. So most likely it's on the major axis, or this is what we call as the major axis also. So that's principal. So let us now continue with the properties of an ellipse. So one of the property of the ellipse is that based on the definition there, once you are adding the distances of the two fixed points, which are called the foci, to any point on the ellipse, it is constant. So as I've mentioned before, once you try to get the distance from one focus to a point and from another focus to a point, once you add it up, it will all be the same all throughout our plane.
Another one is the distance from the center to a vertex of the ellipse is referred to as distance A. So the length of the major axis is 2A. So again, the distance from the center, the center is here, going to the vertex, which is here, that is our A. So take note, our A must be located where our major axis is because that is the distance from the center to our vertex. So once you try to measure the major axis, so you will be adding this one here and the other side from the center to the vertex, which is A. So that is why we're having here 2A. So another property here is the distance from the center to a co-vertex of the ellipse which is referred to as distance B. So the length of the minor axis is 2B. So from the center to a co-vertex, this is our co-vertex, that is said to be our B. So this one is B. And then the other distance from the center to the co-vertex, that is also another B. So the length of our co-vertex here is to be, where the length of the minor axis is to be. Next one, we have the distance from the center to a focus of the ellipse, which is referred to as distance C. So the length in between the foci is to C. So again, the distance from the center to a focus, that is referred to as distance C. So from center here towards the focus here, this is what we have as our C. So from center again to another focus, that is C. So the length in between the foci, or that is our uh, focal length, that will be um, 2C. So we will be adding C and C, that's 2C. So let's there are two forms of an ellipse. The first one, which is a horizontal orientation, which is this one here. So in horizontal orientation, our major axis there is our x-axis. And we will have our equation here as x minus h squared over a squared plus y minus k squared over b squared. That's equal to 1. So our a there, if you try to look at our A, our A is the distance from the center to our vertex. And take note, vertex will be always on the major axis. So once your X is the major axis, your denominator there is an A. So that is horizontal ellipse. Now let's have our vertical ellipse here, vertical orientation of our ellipse with an equation here, which is quantity of x minus h squared over b squared plus y minus k squared over a squared that's equal to 1. Now notice our a there is under y minus k squared. The reason there is once you've got a vertical orientation of your ellipse, your major axis is on the y axis. So that is why our a is under y minus k squared because it is always on our major axis. So I hope that's really clear on you on, on the orientation of our ellipse. So please stay tuned on the next video, which is identifying the different parts of the ellipse.